And now we have the great Isaiah Thomas on the phone. And Isaiah, which is tougher in a repeat, the first or the second? Uh, definitely the, the second. Um, and, and the reason why is because um, the length of time that, that you've been playing. Um, you know, the first one you're chasing and the second one you're being hunted. And um, the, the more games, if you look at Golden State and, and Cleveland right now, uh, with LeBron James, the amount of miles that, that these two teams uh, and the individuals have put on their bodies, uh, that's what makes the second one uh, that much tougher. Isaiah, how much of the muscle memory you get from winning that first championship translates to that second year? You know, how much of it is you on, on cruise mode in terms of understanding what's coming, and how much of it is you just mustering enough energy to get through it? You, you know, it really is a, a combination of, of both. Um, understanding the, the energy uh, that's required to get through it uh, doesn't necessarily put you on cruise mode, but it, it makes you understand um, when to go, when to turn on, when to turn off. And you don't, you really don't have the extreme lows that you would have after a loss in a, in a, in a finals game or a playoff game. The first time around, uh, when you lose a game, it, it really is like the world has come to an end. Uh, the second time around, if you lose a game, you know that there is another game and you know how to prepare for it. So you don't have the extreme lows, uh, but the highs are always high, but you just don't have the extreme lows the second time around. Isaiah, let's talk legacy with LeBron. Is it more important for LeBron James to win a third ring or to not lose the finals for a fifth time? Uh, you know, they, they both go hand in hand. And I, <clears throat> I, I think uh, for him, Winning a championship in Cleveland uh, and winning his, his third championship, if, if it happened, uh, the legacy of bringing a championship to Cleveland and what he's already done in the league uh, will just, you know, it, it puts him, you know, on, on the Mount Rushmore of, of accomplishments in terms of what people have done in this league. Uh, also, you know, when you look at LeBron James, since the day he's come in and still till today, you know, he's carried this league. Uh, when, when we were looking for uh, the, the savior, so to speak, or the king to come and, and save the league and put it on its back and, or its shoulders and carry it for a certain period of time, LeBron James answered the call. And while Curry uh, right now is, is the darling in the face of the league, uh, make no mistake about it, the guy who's carried this league and allowed everyone to eat for the last, uh, you know, 10 years or so has been LeBron James. Isaiah, you bring up a great point with, with Steph Curry being, you know, the current face of the league for a lot of people. What does it mean for, for he and Klay Thompson in terms of going down among the all-time great backcourts to get a second championship? Well, they, you know, if they win it again, definitely they, they go down as, you know, they, they, they're in that category now, and if they win it again, it definitely cements them in that category. Uh, the way these two guys shoot the basketball and the distance that they're comfortable in shooting it from, uh, you know, has, has definitely, uh, you know, revolutionized the, the shot selection in terms of what's a good shot and what's a bad shot um, and, and from a coaching standpoint. But I think you, you also, Seiko, you have to give Steve Kerr a lot of credit for allowing these two guys to explore the boundaries of their distance uh, in terms of shooting the basketball. You know, the shots that they take from the hash mark, the shots that they take almost from half court, um, you know, it's, um, you know, those aren't looked at as bad shots anymore, but you got to give Steve Kerr credit for normalizing those shots and also making sure that uh, the fan base uh, accepts those shots now. Isaiah, thank you so much for the wisdom. Safe travels out to Oakland. We'll see you at the finals. Great talking to you guys, and I look forward to talking to you again.